What's up, fam? It's your boy again. We're back some more Call of Duty. What? We got some World War II going on. This is the revamp for the event that we were talking about. Now, a couple of new changes. If you're Master Prestige, you're gonna get you're gonna get 300 um, armor credits instead of 200, uh, which is, I guess, okay. But we were the whole community wanted like a supply drop or an outfit or something like that that only that was unique to. Um, that was unique to Master Prestigious, but they decided just to give everybody more armory credits. Um, now, Major Howard got some new uh, contracts you could do. So go ahead and take them out, um, take a look at them, check them out. Now, uh, this event, I had made a video saying that an event was coming. I didn't know it was going to be this soon. I was thinking it was going to come around June, right, the end of June, like how we got Days of Summer. But since Black Ops 4 is getting released in October, it pushed everything back a month. And this has that feeling like of Halloween-ish, you know, with the ghouls and goblins and stuff and zombies for Halloween. But I'm pretty sure they couldn't, this event wouldn't have did anything in Halloween considering Black Ops 4 would have got released. So there was a pretty smart move to put it, push it back uh, for today, I guess, <laughs> well, when the video came. When this video I took footage of it was on Tuesday, um, the 29th of May. Um, but anyways, so I'm pretty sure we're still gonna have days of summer probably next month, or the month, or the in the middle of next <clears throat> uh, June, in July or something like that. We'll probably get days of summer, or we might have it next month. Who knows? Um, but anyways, the weapons in this collection I pretty much had enough after I opened up all my supply drops and I. Mind you, I was going to show the whole thing, but it was just too much stuff that I had, too many supply drops that I had saved up. So I kind of just cut it down to the beginning and, well, just regular drop and the rare drops. The other drops that I got, I just didn't even show those because the video would have been way too long. <laughs> um, but this collection, I had enough after I opened up my supply drops. And mind you, it was just a regular supply drop and the rare supply drops. I got some of these weapons already plus the duplicates I was I had enough army credits to buy the whole collections for all of them for this event now the other collection that we get that's open 24 hours a day that collection I was I had enough money to uh, army credits to buy two of those items just nothing big I just a uniform and I think uh, one of the I think I bought the sniper the type 3 I was meaning to get that from a long time ago, but yeah, so the undead collection, that's what it's called. <laughs> I had enough money to buy everything from the undead collection. So you want to get those collections first because once this event's over, those weapons and camels are going to be locked. Um, you could get lucky and get them in a supply drop, but most likely, well, I have collections from like the Winter Siege event that are the weapons are locked and I can't get it. And I completed the collection, but the actual reward for cl completing the collection is still locked. So, my, uh, if I really want that gun, I guess I have to come back next October or November, whenever that event turns back on, I could unlock it. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. Or I maybe I might, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, enough rambling. So this is the the headquarters when you spawn in. A couple other changes happened too with the uh, the menu of looking for a match. So they kind of switched everything around. But this is the headquarters. Everything got changed around to attack the dead. There's some zombies in display in the middle of the of the headquarters. They're behind like a canary's cage, a big one, but for zombies. So everything is a little bit more dark, uh, dark and drismal, fire, lightning strikes, stuff like that. Um, I sure wish we could have the uh, the air raid attack because that happened a few times and then I guess the community just got over it and just never pushed for it again because I haven't been in the air raid attack in a long time and it was only like maybe like three times I ever participated in an air raid. Um, but this is the uh, the new uh, zombies. There's like three zombies here just kicking it in canary cages. <laughs> Uh, with a big ass bonfire but anyways I had a rip of supply drops so I'm gonna open them up and like I said I 
didn't put all of them in there because um, I had a bunch of uniform bribes. Well, not a bunch, but just a few uniform bribes, weapon bribes, heroic bribes, uh, weapon heroic bribes. Yeah, and I just it was a video would have been like 30 minutes, <laughs> so I cut it down to like 15, and I just I just showed you know the the common and the the rare supply drop openings, and I got most of my weapons or weapon variants through there. But this is the new headquarters. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Are you guys, does it look cool? We, and, oh, one of the game modes that we have today is the the infected. So you start off the match. We got a new map to play infected too as well. I was gonna show footage of that. I think I make another video of just that, where supply drops uh, get dropped in the game mode infection. And so these are random supply drops, or random drops. So you could get anything from um, a, a flamethrower to a V2 rocket. Now I've been trying to get that V2 rocket just so I could see if that V2 rocket will give you the calling in a V2 rocket calling card. Um, so if you guys haven't received the V2 rocket, you know, getting 25 kills in a row with the hand with the gun. Usually you get now. Well, before it didn't give you anything, but now they did an update where if you did call a V2 rocket, they gave you a calling card now. So I, I haven't dropped a rocket. I was close. I was like two kills off. Uh, so I don't have the calling card. But in the game mode infected, you can call a V2 rocket. They, you can get it through a supply drop. Uh, you just got to be the first one to open it. <laughs> and so I, I was trying and trying to get that dang v2 rocket so i can see if they give you the calling card for calling it in but i it's elusive still to this day uh, so this is a new um when you spawn in this is where you're gonna see the this play mode this new not play mode but where you access all the game modes it first gives you the option to play infected and then domination tdm if you go over to the right where it says public match, you could access that and that'll give you back our old option menu to search for a match. So they kind of switched it up on us. It took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, this is uh, the new LMG that I got, the American Muscle. It looks okay. Um, like I said, I had so many drops, so many things I had to do. It just all couldn't fit in this video. I kind of trimmed everything up just to show the first um, common and rare supply drops. Like I said, I pretty much got everything in those packages. And with the duplicates, I was able to buy all the weapons and the uniform. And I bought, like I said, in the other collection that's open 24 hours that doesn't close. I bought those. I bought some of uh, those collections as well. But I hope you liked the video. Let me know were you able to um, save up enough army credits or if you had enough saved. I just wish I had more time I should have made that other video like three weeks ago because I asked I was thinking about it but I didn't think it was, this event was gonna come so fast but like I said sorry about that fam I, I'll try to do a better job next time um, when something like that is coming around um, but I apologize but yeah so hope you guys get everything and remember go to the uh, attack of the dead collection first unlock everything you want to unlock or get because once that event ends everything behind is going to get locked and it won't be accessible until this time next year this time next year everyone's going to be playing n1z1 or h1z1 or black ops battle royale who knows what's going to be going on that day but i don't think i'm going to come back next year to open my winter weapons <laughs> from the winter siege event uh yeah you never know but I probably won't make a video about it. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. Look at that knife. Look at that sword. Legend Maker 2. So it's going to be a Legend Maker 1. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Sorry, I'll quit all the rambling. <laughs> anyways, hope, hope you guys have a good time with the event. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. More, more. So we got the first game mode infected. Where the random person turns into an actual zombie. You run around with an axe killing people. You, supply drops get dropped and like I said you get a flamethrower to a V2 rocket now the next next week we're gonna have another uh, game mode called horde 
it's like hard point. It's gonna just be hard point where we're gonna, uh, I guess, a wave of zombies are gonna come in, and we could they're gonna invade the multiplayer map, um, and then another game mode like keep away, um, where Infinite Warfare we had a ball that you had to keep away from the enemy team and your teammates had to kill everybody and you had to like not let the enemy team get the ball the same thing but it's gonna be uh, with a, a zombie head that you have to keep away so we should be getting those uh, at least hard, hard point we should get it next week um, and then the following week we get the other game modes and so I really hope that um, at least infected stays in the party game uh, selection and the other two, eh. well, the the horde points sounds pretty interesting too. If you're fighting the enemy team and all of a sudden zombies just start attacking everybody, that that would be cool. That'd be different. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that one. The the other one where to, where you play keep away with the zombie head, eh, not too really uh, excited for that. But the the horde point sounds pretty cool. It sounds interesting. Something fresh that the Call of Duty World War Two needed because it was getting stagnant, stale, fast. Uh, anyways, I'll let you guys go. Uh, hope you like the supply drop opening. Like I said, I saved up a bunch of them. Once you start saving up 10, 15, the rest of them just start stacking because, you know. Anyways, so, oh, also, there's a lot of face camels. So you could go to your dossier, go to your character, and, uh, you could go to your uh, character and then go to the face. Not not where you select the male or female face, but you go to your dossier, your uniforms, and then right there would be the face camels that you could pick, and also the uniforms of the uh, of the ne a nemesis. I think it's not a nemesis uniform. I actually got the butch uniform too. That could be butch. Um, so they got a bunch of cool uniforms this time. The other uniforms are kind of whack, uh, but. For this event, there's a lot of cool uniforms. Um, so I bought, I got a couple of those. Um, I think I'll make another video showing the infected game mode and then uh, and some of the uniforms that I got. And they were pretty sick. I don't know, I like them. Anyways, enough of my rambling. You guys stay blessed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And like always, leave a like, comment, and I love my subs.